Hello again and here we have the third of my C sharp tutorials and today we're going to be talking about the split string method. Okay. So <clears throat> as you can see I've already prepared um the application really just to to save time more than anything else. Um and I've also put some comments in here as you can see. So uh what I what I uh, I am to do today is to actually go through this and explain um, as I go along, um, but I thought with the uh, addition of these comments, you can always go back to the video and uh, read in a little bit more detail what I actually did. So, split string, what it actually does, um, as the name implies, it splits the string um, that you pass to it. So, um, actually, before I go on, this is just a simple. Uh, simple application it's not a windows forms application it's not a console application it's just an empty project um as you, as you would have seen in one of my previous tutorials you clear when you create a, an empty project um you have to add the class so we've created a class we've added it to our project and we've called it string split.cs and um like all empty projects you have to actually create your own entry point which is uh, public static no return main capital m okay so once you've done that um, we've created our example string and we've called our example string this is the string we are going to split period forward slash n which is actually an escape sequence the n means new line data square bracket open 2 comma 3 comma 4 close bracket semicolon etc etc a couple of commas um, we've got a comma here with nothing in between we'll go into that later on uh, we've got two splits here which we'll go into later on um, and a bunch of spaces okay so the whole idea of this exercise is to actually show you all of the different combinations um, that C sharp gives you with regards to the actual split string um, function uh, or method okay so without further ado <coughs> the first thing you have gotta do like I said is to pass a string into split and when you split the string you need to pass the split strings into a string array okay so that's what this is here this is our string array so you declare string uh, and then you have an empty open and close brackets okay so we've not actually assigned it a particular size at the moment we've not reserved any money uh, me me money memory um, that'll be done later on when the string split um, the method actually will um, reserve some memory and then actually pass elements um, of or, or, well um, sections of string into the array and you will have a number of elements in the array which represents the number of splits that you got from the string okay the format is in the comment box up here okay so it's string so you um, pass your string into your function you put a period at the end of the string um, and then um, like all in tele text you'll see um, a, a list will pop up um, and in that list one of the methods that you presented with is split um, and the first uh, example we're going to look at is the char parentheses okay so basically what this means is this string is going to be split and I've done it again it's going to be split at the character which you put in here okay so for example here is our string array up here and we're going to assign that the splits from our string and we're going to split at the space okay and as you can see in our string up here we've got one two three four five six seven eight spaces okay which basically means our array should have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine elements in it okay so let's give that a bash so we'll put a breakpoint on here and to do that you click on the outside border here okay and a little circle will pop up red and the whole line will be highlighted red that's actually a breakpoint so now when you press f5 to execute your program okay it's going to run and then it's going to stop at the breakpoint okay press f10 to step over the breakpoint okay and then hover hover your mouse over the str okay and it will pop up with the array and um, you'll see a little plus sign next to it which means there's been some elements put into that array and you can see you've got nine elements of type string so you move over to the plus hover over the plus and it will automatically expand and in there you will see your nine elements and you can see that they've all been split at the space which is nice 
okay and as you'll see here the last element has not been split at all because there's no spaces in there okay and this can be really handy for taking you know people's names out of csv files where you want to split the csv file at a comma or if you've got brackets or chevrons or whatnot you can split by replacing this space with a character of your choosing so for example we can replace this um, sorry with the comma okay so we'll stop the application by pressing the little square stop up here we'll rerun by pressing F5 okay press F10 again to step over hover over our string array drop the little plus down and now you'll see we've not split on the spaces we've actually split on the commas okay and you can actually put any character you like up here and it will split on that character so conventionally now this is a nice way to do it however it only works for one character okay so moving on the preferred method of doing the split is let's stop the application is this create a new type character okay open curlies and then you put your character that you want to split on and then close curlies okay so what this means is later on as you can see down here in this line you can actually put a number of split characters in so in this particular example we're going to split on a space and on a comma okay this one splits um, on the space like this one did in our example this one will split on a new line so if I put a breakpoint there remove that breakpoint press F5 okay step over now look at our string array you've got two elements and they're both split on the new line if you look up here you can see the new line okay very useful certainly when you're reading in text files um, and you want to split on the new line character at the end some files have new line return so that's where this line comes in where you can put two character splits in and you'll see in a minute okay so we we'll press F10 again so we can execute this split okay now if you look at the character string drop it down you'll see you've got 17 elements and they've been split on the spaces and they've also been split on the commas okay so that's the power of this split with multiple characters and you can put as many characters in there as you like so that's very very powerful okay don't forget um, if you really wanted to um, uh, you could split at the spaces um, and then you could split at the commas you could split at the brackets so you could create a new string okay string array don't forget the square brackets um, s okay actually let's stop the application so it doesn't uh, bomb out us so string s okay semicolon actually um, we can actually tap the whole thing on one line so we'll go string s equals okay underscore string to split dot but you can see here these are all the options that I was telling you about that are stored within the uh, string object so you just type um, s p okay and it'll find split for you press tab um, and it will enter it automatically for you open uh, parentheses okay and then um, new char space char brackets okay curlies single quote okay it has to be a single quote not a double quote comma single quote uh, I've done that wrong that needs to be an open curly not parentheses okay and we'll do another curly like so close parentheses semicolon semicolon okay now you think what's the point of this well there is no point what I'm actually wanting to do is replace this string with our array up here okay uh, our original array underscore str okay and then inside that we'll put a bracket I don't know four three bracket dot split so what that's actually going to do now is it's going to split the, th the fourth don't forget the arrays in C sharp start with index C array okay so even though that's, that says three it's actually element four in the array okay so when we run to that um, let's have a see actually what's going to be stored in that in that location F10 okay our butchies in three is string okay it's the first string okay so to make this example worthwhile we're going to split this string with a colon 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 okay um, and then we're going to replace this comma with a colon I'm going to stop the application and rerun it actually if you press this little up and left arrow here it restarts which is control shift f5 so it'll restart your application for you okay that run down, runs down to the breakpoint now if you look at your str5 you'll see that you've got um, string str4 even three you've got a string press f5 step over it uh, 
F10. And you'll see you've actually split the string, okay? So we've we've gone ahead here and we've split the string up and then we've split the further split one of the elements up of the string, okay? So again that could be very powerful. Okay, so moving on, the other method we've got. So this is a different flavour of split string. Okay, so you've got the character row in exactly the same way as we saw above, but we've also got an integer, int32, 32 32-bit 32 integer. What it actually means is split the string but only return that many elements, okay, whatever int32 is. So if that's four, as it is in our example here, it's going to split the string, in this example it's going to split on the spaces, and it's only going to return four elements. So the rest of the string, that's full of spaces, will stay as a string full of spaces, okay, and to demonstrate that we'll press F10 look at the string you see you've only got four element array this is the all split on the space uh, then you've got the fourth element um, and you can see you've got spaces in there and it's not split okay so you might find a use for that again another ex example here with a new line hit enter look at string drop it down split on the new line we've actually got four in there if you notice okay and yet when you look at the string you've only got two elements that's because there's only one new line character in our example string up here. Okay, if there was four in there, then the string would split into four, and you would see four elements returned. If there was five or six new lines, then you would only get four elements returned. Okay, so remember that. Bear that in mind. If you wanted to return more, then you just change the letter, the number four in here to five, six, seven, or the number of your choosing. Okay, um, move it on. This one, we've got 16. If you notice here, we've actually asked for it to return 16 elements. And we're looking here, it will see 16. Okay, and the string is split. Oop. Okay. It's uh, our 16 elements. Okay, just to prove a point. And it's also split on the spaces and the commas. Okay, so um, just to prove what I was showing, explaining earlier on with regards to the number of um, characters you can put into your split array, we're going to split this again the colons here so all you do up here type in a comma single quote colon single quote and that's it okay stop the application or restart it okay run all the way through yeah uh, not forgetting to put your breakpoint on hit play <coughs> excuse me okay f10 look at your string drop down your little drop down and have a butchies and here you have it okay so you've split the spaces you split the colons and you split the commas okay very useful okay so actually yeah sorry what I was going to say was it's not split on all the commas you might have noticed uh, the reason for that is that we've asked it to return 16 um, elements and so it's not going to return more than 16 if I was to change this to 20 You'll see it's going to split on more com on uh, the commas also. Okay, so we'll hit play again. Okay, F10 string. Now you can see 20 in there, and you can see it start to split on the commas. Okay, and it's got up to here. Okay, so the next method: string split char split options. Okay, so what's this split options? I hear you shout. Well, you've got two options: you've got non, and you've got remove empty entries. What this actually means is, when you split the string. If uh, for some reason you have no information between the split uh, character, so for example, comma, comma, with nothing in between, and if you look at our example up here, you'll see I've got that in our example right here. Okay, we've got a comma, comma, just here. There's a zip in the middle, okay, and the same goes with the split up here. You've got split, split, um, and you've got nothing in the middle here. No space, no comma, no semicolon, nothing. Okay, so, so what's, what split options does, if you put none, Okay, now you try to split out the comma, you look at your string, what you'll see here, where those two commas were, you've got an empty element in your array, which is just a waste of memory. Okay, so remove empty entries means don't remove those empty entries. Um, sorry, one step back. Non means don't remove the empty entries. Remove empty entries actually make, means remove those elements. Okay, so step over look at string little plus and now you'll see that the empty ele the empty uh, elements gone okay so non means leave it in and remove means just take away those those um, empty elements okay so it saves a bit of memory 
Again, the next method we're looking at is string parentheses split options. And that's exactly it works in exactly the same way as the character. The only difference being here is it splits on the string, okay? So for example, you saw in our example up here, we had split split. Okay, what we're saying here is split on the word split. Okay, so if I step over that and now look at our string, you'll see that we've actually split on the words split. Okay, and they've also disappeared. So those two words were here and they've disappeared. Now it's worth bearing in mind um, when you use split that the word um, or the character that you use, the string or the character, actually disappear from the element. So you see when you split on a comma, the elements in the array will be without commas. When you split on spaces, the elements in the array will be without spaces. And when you split on a string, the spring go string goes. So you'll notice that the string has vanished. Okay. And again, string options none. If you notice when you look at strings, you'll see you've got an empty element. And when you put on to the options remove empty entries you'll see the string now it's only got three or the array's only got three elements and the empty elements disappeared so as a little exercise there's only one or two methods left that you can employ okay and they are inclusive of string options and the integer number of bytes or strings to return um, and then obviously your split character. Okay, so I've said here there are only two remaining methods to cover. See if you can work out what these two methods do. Okay, so you've really only, you've really covered everything up here. Um, these are varieties of or a subset of this. So you've got split and four, or you've got split and split options. Okay, but here you've got split and four split options. And the hint is it's a combination of the above. Okay, so if you're struggling, it actually means split at the comma, return four elements from the split. So if you have five separate strings all split with commas, it'll only return four. Um, the last two will be returned in one element complete with comma. And again, if you have two strings side by side or two commas side by side or two whatever split characters side by side with no characters in between, it will return um, an empty element if you have no split options. And if you put remove empty entries, it will actually remove those empty elements from the array. Okay. Um, this is for the character splits and this is for string splits okay so it's actually very straightforward very simple um, what I do recommend is that you actually sit down and do as I've done here and um, uh, experiment essentially you know create a string put some example strings here let me get rid of this solutions explorer and uh, properties window so you can see a bit better um, yeah create a string element just like I've done here put in some example Characters um, and, and uh, com you know uh, characters that you want to split on. Create your array, okay, and then go through each of these and play around changing the split character in here, okay, um, and here, and have a little play and uh, step into it. As I said, F10 to step through. F11, F F11 will step into a function. F10 will step over a function, okay. And a breakpoint is just to click, click either side at the end here. Click, click, click. At the beginning of each line that you want to break point on. So when you execute now, run, it's going to stop on the first line, step on the second, stop on the third, stop on the fourth, and then run to the fifth break point. Okay, and then stop to clear. Just click on it again, click on it again, and they've gone. Okie dokie. So, hope you found that useful. What I'm going to do is disappear those windows, move this over a little bit so you can see the comment. Okay. Scroll up. That's it. Oakley Doakley. So I hope you found that interesting. And uh, he's waiting on lesson number four. Till then, take care.